Welcome, all of you craft addicts. Today in Creative Minds, we are going to make some lightsabers. We will make two types of lightsabers, the first one for a cosplay accessory, and the second one to decorate your house. These are the materials you need for PVC. Two PVC pipes of 30mm long, LED flashlight plastic cups. Windshield wipers, switch cables, color plastic film, black and silver spray. Craft wooden sticks, plastic bottle, silicone, instant glue. Close nipple adapter, metal sink waste, and metal or copper pipe. Wear rings to meters of LED light strip, acrylic tube, and foam packaging. All the templates and where to get these materials are in a link in the description box, so let yourself seduce by the Dark Force. Let's build the first sword, Sword of Dark Lord of the Sith. We start by marking and cutting some PVC pipes with a hand sword or with Finn's golden sword. The important thing is to make the cuts as straight as possible. With a drill, make some holes in the main pipe and another hole in the smaller pipe. One will be for the flashlight, and the other for the switch. Now you will need a plastic bottle like this one. Wait a minute. Sorry, I was thirsty. Cut out the screw on cap, and stick it on the bottom of the pipe. This will help us to change the batteries when necessary. Also get some clean foam from the kitchen, or maybe from your next door neighbor. And carefully wrap it around the PVC pipe, making the right division between both pieces. This will delineate the different colors of the lightsaber. But before painting, make the holes that will help you fix the saber's blade to the hilt. Let us continue. We will use the darkest parts of our soul to paint these pieces. Well, you are also welcome to use black spray. And once it has dried, remove the cling film and repeat the whole process again, but now on the other part. And this is how it should look like. As you can see, this lightsaber is straighter than Vaku's power pole. Now, with our Valerie steel blade, take off this part of a windshield wiper. And once done, cut several pieces of 10 centimeters long. And glue these pieces just right here. Position them parallelly so they all look like this. Take a cardboard tube and insert it through our main piece. Use a marker to mark the lowest point of the hole of this piece. Now make little marks on these craft wooden sticks which were freshly brought from Ender Forest. Cut and glue them. This is the frame where the flashlight pieces will sit later. Now let us make the piece that will hold the batteries in place. Once you have cut the pieces, place each one inside the PVC pipe. To build the blade's light, we are going to dismantle one of these flashlights and use some of its parts such as the lens, dial cap, and the battery's box. It is important to choose the right color of your sword. Remember, there is a link in the description box if you want to use the same as ours. You also need some cables that you can take from your brother's console, or from the grandmother's microwave, or from a hardware store, as we have done. Check that all the cables work, and that they are in the right places. Now glue them like this with hot silicone. And if you have any questions, you can download the templates. Remember that we are here to help you. Once everything is in the right places and working, it is time to put each one of the parts inside the PVC pipe. Finally, take this piece that was taken from an old lamp and glue it right here, in this section. We have painted it black, but you can use the color that best suits you. Do not forget to keep checking the connections to avoid disappointments later. Join both pieces together, and also put back the screw on cap. And with this, we have now finished the sword hilt. We let us move on to the butt, I mean the bottom of some of eight plastic cups. Make sure they are the correct cup color, otherwise it will not make the sword light up. You can find them anywhere. Cut the cups to the right size of the sword hilt, and very carefully place them like this. Be very gentle when you cover them with a clear plastic foam, otherwise you will end up with lots of trapped bubbles. And finally, we use the instant glue to stick them together. With a drill, make the same holes of the other piece into this one, and join both parts together with some screws. Place a clip and other details that we have built with recycled materials. It should look like this. This is how we do it in Creative Minds. It is the turn of the light side of the Force. And we will need it to build Master Obi-Wan's sword. 
Let's start by assembling these two pieces with silicone, which will help to seal them up. Meanwhile, pin the metal pipe and brass collar, or simply use a copper pipe. And tightly embed in the piece of hose, make sure both parts are joined together. These are O-rings, which are usually used to prevent water leaks, but in this case they are just to make the sword to look more realistic. Paint everything again, using the same ancient Yeda technique as before. On this occasion, we will use the LED light strip to illuminate our lightsaber's blade. Check out the link if you want to use the same as ours. Do you see this piece? It needs to go through this pipe. This part here is the blade emitter, which will allow us to change the color of the laser sword. And this part is the power supply, which will be glued to a round plastic piece, just like this. Now it's time to make the blade. You just need to wrap the strip along a plastic tube, like that one we used for wrapping books. Do it in an even spiral way. Now use a foam packaging to roll over it. Finally, secure the foam with some tape and put it inside the acrylic tube. This will make everything tight and firm. Now that the blade is finished, use some screws to join it to the sword hilt. Do you remember the piece that we put inside the hilt? Now it's time to connect it to the LED light and see if it works. With the strength of a true Jedi, join both pieces together. And here we have our laser sword. Because we use the LED strip like this, we can change colors as we pleased. Now place it on the stand and enjoy how it glows. Please leave in the comments below if you would like us to make more Star Wars crafts or something else that you enjoy. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel by pressing the bell, like the Lost Boys bell to never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video, my beloved hobbits.